So lately, I've been thinking about some of my favorite updates of all time, and they've always included a humanoid type of mob. Now, humanoid isn't a very common word to use, at least for me, but here's the definition. Humanoid is a non-human entity with human form or characteristics. So looking back, we have Village and Pillage update, which added the pillagers as well as a bunch of other features related to pillagers and illagers, such as the crossbow, the outpost, the ravagers, as well as the raids. A magnificent update full of content. And then we got 1.16, which also included, of course, more humanoid type of mobs, the piglins. And as a result of piglins, we got the piglin brutes, we got the bastion remnants, we got bartering, and a bunch of other amazing features. See where I'm getting at? I feel like really what defines an amazing update usually has some sort of humanoid type of mob. And I really do think that is the key to a successful and well-loved update. Now that brings us to 1.20, the big mysterious update that we won't know exactly what it is until Minecraft Live later this year. Only a couple more months until this big event and I seriously can't wait. And for once in the past few years, I have absolutely no idea what to expect and I love it that way. Although I do love being in the loop and having all the inside information and Mojang keeping the creators in what they are doing, I personally enjoy Minecraft Live more when I have absolutely no idea what to expect. It makes it more interesting and enjoyable to feel that energy and feel the anticipation and just be in that moment. But I know a lot of you guys clicked on the video for the title, the thumbnail, everything that makes a video sparkle and shine. But the reality is something that you guys have always known, which is we won't know until the actual event. And nobody can actually tell you the answer because if they do have that answer, they signed an NDA, meaning if they share that information, they'll probably lose their channel and they'll be in some legal troubles. So whoever even has that answer, literally cannot share it without getting in some serious trouble. But I honestly hope that it just remains a secret, but that brings us back to the actual title of Humanoids and 1.20, because I have a feeling that humanoid type of mobs will play a large role in 1.20, specifically if it's the end update, which I'm sure you guys have heard the end update for quite some time. In fact, We've actually been talking about that very same update for a couple years now. You know, we started talking about this around 2019, possibly even 2018, before we got the Caves and Cliffs update and even the Nether update. Everybody was curious when we'd actually see updates for the end. Because if you go to the end, it literally is space and a bunch of floating islands. That is the simplest way to explain and describe the end in a nutshell is it's space with islands and that's it. There's not much content. We do have the end cities, but that still is starting to feel a little stale and dry and boring. So the end needs a big major update and they're basically working with a blank canvas. Like there's so much potential for content in the end it probably is similar to the nether update. Before we even had the nether update, I'm sure you guys recall how empty and boring the nether was. It just felt like the same blocks, the same biome, and the same experience. Gas shooting fireballs everywhere, and then magmas chasing you. And if you were lucky enough, you would stumble upon a nether fortress. It was the same experience for everybody. And I will give Mojang credit here because they've shown that they can listen to the community. However, it doesn't mean they're going to act on it, as we've seen with the chat moderation, but there's been plenty of instances where they have shown that they are listening to the community as early as Caves and Cliffs. If you guys recall, the Caves and Cliffs update was literally a movement before they even announced it. So they do understand what's popular and what we want and they're sort of paid to do that. They have to know what it is the community wants to see 
or else, I mean, if they add something else, it's more than likely not guaranteed to be a success. So what is the type of content we could see in 1.20 that would make it special and unique and probably in the same realm as the Nether update? Well, luckily we've already had amazing content the past few years, so we know what Mojang likes to work on. They like to work on new biomes, they like to add something really interesting that we haven't necessarily seen before, but it seems and feels familiar, right? We got the piglins, but they weren't really trading with us. They were bartering with us. So if we were to get a humanoid type of mob in the end update, I wouldn't be surprised if they resemble the Endermen in some shape or form. Maybe they're smaller, friendlier versions of them, but you still can't really look at their eyes directly. Maybe you can use a pumpkin and then you're able to trade with these type of creatures. They're also known for teleporting and being sort of shy and timid. And maybe they live in these huge, massive, coarse fruit trees. So I think that'd be pretty interesting. Or they live in buildings that sort of look like the end city. So yeah, there's a lot of potential there. Now, this is clearly an idea, but you have to imagine that Mojang's been hearing this end update for several years. So they have to find not only biomes, but they have to think of mobs to include. Are they all simply evil and they work for the Ender Dragon? Or do we have ancient type of villagers? Maybe the villagers ancestors lived in the end. This is where it started, the origin of the villagers. I think that'd be a really cool idea to approach. And it also adds to the lore and the story of Minecraft when you include more intelligent type of humanoid mobs. Not zombies or, you know, skeletons. Like we've had plenty of mobs like that, Mobs that clearly have some intelligence to them, there's some backstory, you know, something that makes them special and unique, that makes them also more memorable and leaves a great impression and ultimately creates an amazing update. But at the end of the day, that's clearly subjective. It's different for all of us. Or maybe we all have a lot more in common than we think. Maybe we all just want to see amazing features from mobs that we love and want to interact with. Now I'll finish the video off by saying this, and I don't know if Mojang's watching, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but I think you shouldn't showcase everything during Minecraft Live. I think about some of my favorite Minecons, Minecraft Lives in the past, and we only saw a couple features, but you continue to add more content throughout the development phase. Starting with the Nether update, we didn't learn about the Piglin Brutes or the Bastion Remnants. We didn't learn about a lot of other things until way in the fourth or fifth month of development. And yes, we did get some surprises in the 1.19 wild update, but there was a lot of issues that weren't even related to surprises when it came to the wild update. Actually starting with the name itself, we can make a very long video breaking down what went wrong with 1.19 and of course, what went right, because a lot did go right, specifically related to the deep dark in the ancient city. All of that was just incredible, but yeah, I'm getting off topic. I guess what I'm trying to say is that every update has sort of this mascot, or at least it should, because not only is the mascot the icon for the update itself, but it's usually one of the best features. When you think 1.19, you think the Warden. When you think Village and Pillage, you think Pillagers. When you think the Nether update, you think Piglins. So Mojang should have a mascot. They should have this type of mob that is that loved and that unique that it really does define what the update is all about. So humanoids is a great start. So thank you guys so much for watching. I think I was all over the place in this video, but I wanna say I really appreciate all the support lately on all of my content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care everyone, peace.